Houston-based artist John Ross Palmer can trace his successful art career back to 1998, when after the tragic death of his father, John started the long, humbling road of the professional artist. My father died unexpectedly of a heart attack, and it threw me into orbit. Um, I didn't know what to do. My dad had to work hard and my mom to raise all of us, but I felt like his whole life was a struggle. And I decided after he passed away, I'm not gonna go on that same path and have a life that's a struggle. That experience convinced John that it didn't have to be that way. Artists do not have to suffer, struggle, or starve for their art. Furthermore, they can be successful, financially independent, recognized, and celebrated within their lifetime. You know, you see John in action, and you see that he's doing it, and you see that no, if you want to be an artist, you are not resigning yourself to this shabby goal of living in a cheap place and, you know, eating ramen. You have to do a lot more than great art if you want to live off of your art. And for me, that's giving somebody an experience. That's building this studio. It's always doing new things here, adding the atrium last year to keep evolving this to not just keep the art exciting, which that's going to be, because that's always something new, but the environment exciting. That realization, that commitment, became the foundation of John's creation of the escapist movement. A movement that forever destroys the stereotype of the struggling artist. Another big part of life that I'm focusing on more now is investing in other people, investing in the future of what I'm doing, and to help elevate other artists to do it too. John Palmer has a nonprofit called Art Launch that supports the Escapist Mentorship Program. That program has expanded to include a purpose-built gallery and studio space called the Chrysalis, designed for participating artists to use free of charge during their Escapist Program year. And that's why I have the mentorship program, because I said in the very beginning, if I'm successful in any way financially, as soon as I have the ability, I'm going to start giving back right away to other artists. Sponsoring and mentoring new artists, I mean, that has just taken him light years ahead of a lot of artists we know. I know it worked for me because, like, not only am I doing art full time now, I'm also more financially stable, and that literally is a direct result from the 2020 program. Once you have your first events where you're selling and you're selling a lot and you start selling at real prices and you really meet people who are interested in the art and value it. The goals become realistic. This is not just play money. This is not just a side hustle. Um, I can probably grow this. The program is a mentorship meant to guide uh, amateur to novice artists uh, into the next level. Uh, what the program did for me is definitely opened my mind. First, it opened my mind up to different styles, uh, especially abstract. It was a huge learning lesson. It taught me not only to create work as much as possible, I like to have a good inventory, but also to be able to speak about the work, to be able to mingle with different people um, from all different backgrounds, and it really gave me a sense of the art business as a whole. If you're an artist, who wants to do your art full time, that this is what you want to do. His purpose is to teach you uh, the confidence, um, the business skills, um, basically to show you that you can and to encourage you that you should. Not only encourage you, but that the world needs you to be an artist. Whether at his studio and gallery in the historic Houston Heights, named The Bramer, at one of his many speaking engagements, through his philanthropic activities, or through his influential social media presence, Palmer's followers and collectors all form a sort of family, a cohort of people who are interested in art, in building art collections, in discovering new artists, and in networking with like-minded art enthusiasts. The community is about people learning from each other and coming here. It's not whether they're coming to a gallery, they're coming to my place. And they're not coming to buy art unless they want to buy art. The goal is not to sell art when people come here, so they're going to have a good time, a good experience. 
And if you do that, the other's gonna happen. He does such great, fabulous work. But also I think he really connects to people and he takes the time to get to know people. His whole goal was not to just be an artist, but was to be a businessman and an artist. John is, he has a really good heart and that combined with his talent and how he um, creates what he creates and how he shares that with people. There's always a story with his art. His career has led him to international recognition. Being a listed artist on Wikipedia, self-publishing numerous books, studying and training in all corners of the globe, receiving recognition awards, meeting with celebrities, political and civic leaders, and securing his place in the history of contemporary art. So we have to remember it starts with a dream, a passion, hard work, because I promise you, I don't know anybody who's worked as hard as I, but with joy, because I love it. I think it's the belief in himself that he can impact the art world, and he continues to do that in terms of bringing in people who want to look at his uh, productions and are serious about collecting, as well as influencing young minds and artists throughout the world. While John's art is the cornerstone of the business, there are so many ways for interested people to participate in John's world. One of the things that keeps me coming back, that has kept me coming back, is uh, this uh, evolution of style, there is um, the willingness to take risks and the adventurous um, on new projects, new techniques. So whether visiting his gallery for a private tour, arranging commission work, attending art events, gallery openings, escapist shows, or just hanging out on a Sunday afternoon, John Palmer art is more than a product or even a destination. It's an experience, a community. If you come, to my studio and you're not excited, I've failed. So I promise and guarantee to always excite you and show you something new.